Today I got a brand new Lenovo IdeaPad 3 17 inch laptop. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the M.2 SSD, do a clean Windows install, and while I'm at it, I'll even show you how to disable Flip to Boot in the BIOS. Let's get started. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this brand new Lenovo IdeaPad 3 17 inch laptop, 17.3 inch laptop. It's brand new, haven't even turned it on yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upgrade the M.2 NVMe SSD to a one terabyte. It came new out of the box with a 256 gigabyte M.2 drive SSD. So I'm just going to bump that up, do a clean install of Windows 10. They didn't want Windows 11 right now. The customer just wants Windows 10. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the drive, <coughs> excuse me, the new drive I'm going to put in is this new Samsung SSD 980 one terabyte. Good little drives. I like them. I use them quite a bit. Here's the drive right here. Um, not going to do anything with the memory. It already has 8 gigabytes of DDR4. This model has the 10th gen Core i5 1035G1 processor. Not a powerhouse, but it's, but it's not bad. Having an i5 and 8 gigs of RAM. Now it's going to have a 1 terabyte SSD. So the other thing I'm going to do, um, when I open the lid, I'm going to hit my F2 key. I'm going to go in the BIOS. Customer asked me if I could disable that flip to boot when you open the lid so it doesn't, you know, turn on automatically. He wants to use a button. So I'm going to just do that real quick. I'm going to open the lid and it should power on. Got to start hitting my F2 button right away. Hopefully get in the BIOS. There we go. So all I'm going to do is use my right arrow key and go over here to configuration. And right here where it says flip to boot, it's enabled. I'm just going to simply disable it. I'm going to hit enter. Disable, save and exit, Cha or save changes. And then I'm just gonna do a hard shut down here because I don't wanna have it boot up and start doing the window setup. So I'll make sure we get a post. So there, <clears throat> got it turned off. So anyway, disable flip to boot. Pretty much all these idea pads, most of the new Lenovo's come with the flip to boot by default you know, enabled. The exact model of this one is IdeaPad 317iil05. Put it on the screen there for you. So anyway, um, just a matter of opening it up. Being a 17 inch, it's not really any different than the 15 inch models, just a little bigger. Uh, the screws, I've already removed all the screws. Don't like to bore you with that. The four screws along the front, they're, um, they're quite short, that's one length, but all the rest of these screws are all exactly the same. Just these four along the front are little short ones. I just got them laid out sitting over here. Um, so I'm just going to use my little happy spudger tool here, my blue triangle. And these are relatively simple to open. Just got to get it started in the seam here, usually in a corner. Just going to put it in here and do some popping. Make sure you protect it, got yourself protected from static electricity before you start poking around or go inside your laptop, guys. Very important. I'm all protected here. My bench tops, floors, they're all anti-static. I don't need to worry about it here in my shop at all. Never had a problem. Usually a little gentle jiggling will get it popped up there. Just be careful sticking your tools in there. I'm using plastic and nylon tools. They're non-conductive. You just don't want to, <clears throat> just don't peel it off. You can break stuff. So I'm just going to get underneath here and gently get along the back here. And it comes out pretty easy. Now where the SSD is located inside here, they got a copper shield and a thermal pad here, you can see. Uh, flip it around here. This here, pretty much all Lenovo's, they, they like to use the 2242's instead of the 2280, you know, lengthwise. Here's the SSD right here. It's currently occupying the, it's a 2242 occupying this mounting slot. We have to move this little nut or little threaded doohickey back over here once we remove this. This comes with four gigabytes of DDR4 of onboard memory. It's basically right here, and here's the one slot. They added a four gig, so it's got a total of eight. Of course, you got your battery and your Wi-Fi card and your CMOS battery. So I'm gonna get this 
2242-256 gigabyte out of there. Just going to use a number zero. Magnetic tip, Phillips screwdriver, carefully remove it. I still got my battery connected and I'm not going to drop or put anything over here on this side of the laptop. So if you want to remove or disconnect the battery, it's right here. All you got to do is slide this connector back, boom, pop it out. I'm just going to be very careful. I do this all the time, literally every single day. Been doing this for over 20 years, so I'm kind of know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to slide the drive out, the little 2242. Now this little, little little nut right here, we have to unthread this and move it over here so we can mount the 2280 drive in there. I have a little special nut driver. It takes a five millimeter nut driver of some sort. Just get a hold of it here, unscrew it, a few turns. <clears throat> Put it back in the nut driver, away from the motherboard of course. And I'm just going to put it back in this one. Pretty much that simple. So we moved it from here to here. Now we can go ahead and mount our one terabyte SSD. Just going to slide it carefully into the slot. Put the mounting screw back in, and that's pretty much it, guys. And I'm just going to boot off my USB. Windows 10 installation, installation flash drive <clears throat> to do a clean install of Windows 10. Just screw that back in just like that. So again, if you're in here, don't touch anything you don't need to touch, guys. Very important, especially if you're not disconnecting your battery. But if you're doing this at home and you're not really sure about yourself, just take a minute and unplug the battery. Open it up carefully, hit the power button a few times to get rid of any residual energy that's floating around in those circuits in there before you start doing stuff, in case you do drop something, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> funny thing on these Lenovo's, a lot of them come, it's got a two and a half inch bay over here and a connector for an S or um, two and a half inch hard drive or two and a half inch SSD. Here's the caddy, but there's no cable. You can get these cables on eBay or from Lenovo, directly from Lenovo, but it, all the ones I've ever got, they don't, the cable just doesn't come with it. Not sure what's up with that, but anyway, it does have a two and a half inch bay. You just got to find the cable to hook it to the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy back on. Pretty simple upgrade, guys. We're just going from 256 gigabyte SSD to a one terabyte. He wanted a lot more storage than what it came with. It's not a gaming laptop by any means. Whenever you're squeezing your bottoms back on, never squeeze really hard on the lid because your screen's back here. You could damage the screen if you squeeze it too hard. So I'm gonna, I always wait to put all the screws back in until basically I'm done, just in case. Gotta pop it back open, I don't take all the screws back out. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up and our flip the boot is disabled. I'm gonna plug in Mr. Power Cord here. I'm going to get this Windows 10 install going, so I probably won't bore you with the whole thing. Let's get my cord in. Undone there. And I'm going to put the 21H2 edition. Now you can also dis disable that battery meter popping up, you know, when you start smacking keys. It should pop up just like that. Um, that's also in there. Let me. Go ahead and hit the power button. I'm going to start hitting Mr. F2 again. I'll go back into the BIOS real quick. And again, if we go back over to configuration, um, right here it's called one key battery. It's enabled. You can disable it if you'd like. If you don't want that popping up, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to use F12 to get the boot menu to pop up here, hopefully. F2 for the BIOS, F12 for your boot menu, and here's our Kingston USB flash drive. I'm just going to hit enter and boot off of that. So yeah, it'll be a quick, simple little upgrade. Not a bad laptop. It's got a 17.3 inch screen, but it's only 1600 by 900. It's not a full HD display. But just basically, he's going to run a lot of office apps on here and internet basically what's what it's going to be used for. It's definitely not a gaming laptop.
So Lenovo's got some nice little features. They got LEDs for your numlock and your caps lock. A lot of new new laptops don't don't have that. It's got three USB ports. No USB C, just the A type. It's got HDMI. It does have an SD card slot over there on that side. So looks like I'm going to need a mouse. Good old 21H2 doesn't load any of that stuff. I'm not sure what's up with that, but I've noticed that whether it's Acer, Lenovo, HP, it doesn't matter. Don't have a touchpad right at, right at, you know, at, just doesn't load the drivers for that. So I'm going to hit next, install now, just make sure our new SSD shows up. I got lots of videos on installing Windows 10. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to bore you with this whole one. I'll just get Windows 10 on it, get all the Windows updates, throw his Chrome on there. He likes to use Chrome. And gonna accept the license terms, hit next. I always choose custom. Here's our new one terabyte SSD right here. I'm just gonna hit next and start the install process. So that's basically it, guys. That's all I got for this one. Uh, check out all my other videos or a bunch of them if you want. I got some cool videos. Um, hope this was helpful. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.